Chances are, in 1984, you will have never seen one of these. That's right, a computer mouse. It's probably hard to imagine at this point never having seen a computer mouse. But in 84, when it was introduced, this was the hot new technology. This was the exciting new thing that Microsoft and Apple both needed you to want to adopt. They needed you to change the way you worked with computers and start using a mouse. Now, 1984, why did Microsoft and Apple come out with the same technology in the same year? It's because Steve Jobs and Bill Gates both took a trip. They both went to Xerox Labs and they saw exciting new stuff. They said, this is amazing technology. This is stuff we want to use. This is Xerox. Let's make a copy. So that's exactly what they did. They copied the mouse. They brought it back to their respective companies and started changing software, changing hardware, and changing the way that you use a computer. In 1984, they had to figure out exactly what was going to make you want to use this brand new mouse. And what they had to figure out were two things. They had to figure out with them, and they had to figure out gamification. Now, with them, what's in it for me? That's with them. And to understand what's in it for me, why do I care about using this mouse? People who were using computers in 1984 were for the most part die-hard geeks. I know, I was one of them. And in 1984, people typed. Everything was command line driven. You had to memorize hundreds, thousands of different commands and know how to use them. With the introduction of the mouse, that's when we started making computers open to everyone making it democratic, making it easy to use. And suddenly your average office worker could just as easily use a computer as they could pencil and paper. And that's part of what spurred the broad adoption of computer technology, the mouse. And as we start looking at the WIFM, users said, this is so much easier. I can point and click. I can actually just WYSIWYG. What I see is what I get. I can use this mouse. But that left gamification. And for those of you who are in the audience who maybe still do remember learning how to use a mouse the first time, you probably remember two programs, two most used programs that came out with Windows. They were Solitaire and Minesweeper, the games. And both games were specifically designed to make you use that mouse, to make you understand how the cursor is going to work, what those little movements are going to mean when you're moving your mouse around. And they made it fun. They made it a game. So through those ways of introducing the mouse, they, Microsoft and Apple both answered with them and gamification. And the mouse was obviously a roaring success.